welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Morell and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman. And today we've got Body Shape Masterclass 26 for you. It's with Maddie. She's five foot three. She's a UK. She says she's a 14 to 16. She looks more of a 14 to me, but we'll find that out shortly. And she's actually our interior designer. And she's actually just redesigned the whole of our studio for us. So um, what I have here is an annex at the side of my house. My house is literally just there. And this annex was built as an Airbnb. And then um, we lent it out to some Ukrainian people for six months. And then after they went, Maddie has come in and completely changed it to make it a lot more useful for what we're doing. Which if you're not interested in interior design, then just fast forward. There's no need to write it in the comments because it just takes us time to reply back to you, but just simply fast forward. But there's a lot of you who have been following this journey over on Instagram that now want to see the final product. So that's what we thought we'd do for the first five minutes of this video. And then we'll get straight into applying our hourglass balancing method of styling on Maddie and um, see if we can get her looking really lovely. This is what we're starting off with in the annex but as the company has grown I need to use this as the office space. Maddie has kindly agreed to rework this space for us. Okay so we're in a bit of a mess today we can't move. Uh, that's my dad over there say hi dad. Hi, hi darling. So the painter is in and about to start painting. So I thought I'd better show you what we are using whilst it all still looks nice. And in terms of colours, we have used white 04 and then the odd bit of woodwork we've used like a light grey, it's like a grey 02. And Maddie obviously helped us pick the colours, uh, basically whatever she said we went with because we are not the experts on this. But what really helped us was these lick samples that she brought along. And they're actually stickers. So you can peel the, the backs off them and then stick them to your wall like that. And then you can keep moving them around the place so you can get the different colours based on the sun. Oh, and things are really bad here. I can't wait to open this up. William Wood Mirror. They do the most amazing mirrors. Oh, all of these wardrobes are coming down. They usually look as messy as this, by the way. It's because everything has been brought in here for storage. Hey, okay, before you start drilling, show everybody your T-shirt. Only Grey could come to a Style Academy with a fart-loading t-shirt on and we love him for it. Okay, so Kyle here is nearly done. He's got one last piece to do. So Kyle is a professional fitter of this cover style. Quickly, just tell us a little bit about it. It's, uh, it's a vinyl, so it's sticky back and it's done with uh, pressure activated. So um, heat applied to the edge, so it adheres to the surface. That's what makes it look natural, so that it doesn't look at all wrapped. Yeah, and um, it doesn't look cheap. I might no. be nice, I thought it might look cheap, yes. but it actually doesn't at all. It's no. such a beautiful finish. Yeah. And for us, what was really good is we could use the kitchen all at, all at the same time. So he literally just took this area up there, didn't yeah. you? And yeah. I was expecting machines and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I mean, I can do door by door, take a door off, wrap, put it back on so that your kitchen will be in full use the whole time that it's yeah. been done. Yeah, brilliant. Um, now, one thing to say is he's also done the size as well. And he's done the back of the door. So that's the fridge, so I can't show you. So it's a really lovely finish behind as well. You'll get guarantee of up to 10 years against discoloration, cracking, yellowing, um, so sunlight coming through onto your cupboard doors. Yeah. Uh, there should be no discoloration in that time. Brilliant. So the products are actually from Colour Style, and you should see the brochure. You can literally choose from 500 plus. 500 Cal plus at least. Um, Carl, you're like a local supplier, aren't you? So Colour Style put you in touch with? Yeah, you? so I'm local uh, fitter. I'm part of a network of trusted installers. Our suppliers, William Smith. Um, give over to so cover style. If you go to cover style, tell them what you need doing. Yeah. They will then find the best fitter in your area, part of the network, which in this case is me, and then you'll get a professional to fit it and they'll find that person for you. Yeah. And the cost of this is an absolute fraction of the cost of what a new kitchen yeah. would have cost. I'd say if you budget about 30 to 40% of the cost of renovating a kitchen, that'll be really? about right. Yeah. That's really, really good.
Okay, so this is actually the final. Well, it's not actually the final one, is it? Because we've still got a few little touches to go. Yeah. But this is Lady Maddie, who has been responsible for absolutely everything. She's an amazing interior designer and did it with a really small budget as well, which <laughs> is, I love. We made it work. We made, made it, work. it work. I love her for that. So, um, Maddie, do you want to talk us through maybe just a few of the key pieces? And more for the audience, perhaps, why you chose certain things that you think are, are helpful. Because most of us, like myself included, I just don't have the instinct like I do with clothes. Yeah. So anything you can share with us would be brilliant. Yeah, sure. So um, we, as Melissa probably already told you, we kind yeah. of work with some existing pieces. So you'll see as we go through the rooms, we've used a bed, we've moved things around. Um, this lovely table was a new purchase. So... Kind of Melissa's need for the space has changed as a team has grown and a business has grown. She's got more people here on a daily basis, so we needed some yeah. more space. Um, yeah. So seating for four people and then a standing desk and walking treadmill was a key requirement for the office space. Yeah, we'll take you around in a minute. So you can see <laughs> that was an that. attempt for us to feel like we were exercising whilst we're yeah. walking. <laughs> It hasn't had that much use, <laughs> I have to say. Um, good intentions. Good intentions, but hopefully when we settle down a little bit, we will be running on that a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, tell us about that. Yeah, you made, it, you made it work for us, which is the main thing. <laughs> so um, we've gone for this extendable dining table from JISC, um, which is lovely. So these pieces come off and it can be um, changed into a circle so if Melissa's needs for the space changes in future or she wants to put this in another space then she's got plenty of options to do that going forward yeah, brilliant. and we've paired it with these textured boucle um, dining chairs from Dahl's mm -hmm. which are lovely and the curve of the chair kind of mimics the curve of the table I worried initially at the colour wasn't I yeah. of like showing all the stains up but actually they don't is it just the texture yeah so it's quite a hard wearing fabric um, and so it's, it's kind of torp as opposed to white yeah. which is helpful but um, the fabric's really hard wearing so you won't tend to see as many uh, stains do you know I can't remember if it was Sarah or Joe mm -hmm. on the first day they oh, were no. delivered they dropped pea soup all down themselves and down these chairs oh, and the wash it out it came out oh well amazing. you haven't noticed have you no not yeah. at all <laughs> so we've used one of Melissa's existing pieces here in this yeah. fluted cabinet I think it was from Home Sense yeah it was from Home Sense yeah yeah and then I've just come in and put some styling books on here and again we've used one of Melissa's existing vases and we've moved the sign that was downstairs in Melissa's filming studio up to here and um, always nice to have a bit of branding in the background yeah um and as you can see, so the tones of the coffee table box kind of tie in with the tones of the box. Yes, yeah. So it's not too much on the eye, it's not too distracting, yeah. but there is a nice little pop of colour in the background. Yeah, where I think you're really good is um, she puts all these like boxes everywhere, but she's listened to us in terms of like when everybody's around here, we've all got leads plugged in, but then when they're not here, I want those leads hidden away. Yeah. So you you really sort of took that brief on and gave me these little pockets of things that it looks all really lovely, but then hiding away is all the, all the rubbish. <laughs> yeah, we, we, won't open. Open. we won't open. We won't open. It'll all fall out. <laughs> Okay. But again, that's another nice touch because the fact it's glass adds some light to the space. Right. If it was all black, it would feel too solid and feel too dark in the okay. space. But then yeah. the fluting means that you're not really seeing what's inside. So yeah. all of the cables I've just mentioned are hidden yeah. away and no one knows about them unless you open the cupboard. And before we move from this area, you wanted to mention the flowers, didn't you? Yes, I did. So we've got this vase, which is from H&M, and I absolutely um, love it. Again, we've got the curves here. Um, mm -hmm. It's also asymmetric, which just adds a little bit bit of something to the space. Yeah. Um, I wanted to mention these flowers, so I am a huge proponent of real flowers, they are my favourite thing, um, but they're just totally impractical when it comes to mm -hmm. styling and you'll then have periods where you don't have them, you have to repurchase them at all the time. Mm -hmm. So from a financial perspective, it works out much better if you buy faux flowers um, and we went for pink here. Um, and they've just totally elevated the space and really changed how it feels. So Melissa and I went back and forth on whether we do brass door handles or we do yeah. black. And in the end, we've gone for the black, um, which have a really nice, simple finish to them. They don't draw attention to the eye. And the, the thing that changed it in the end was the pink flowers. The doors mm -hmm. looked completely different and the space looked completely different when we put the pink flowers in. And then mm -hmm. if in a year's time, 
or two years time you get sick of the pink and you want a different colour, you just swap them out, you can put them somewhere else in your home um, and introduce a new colour in. Moving over to the um, stand up desk here and that's our little walking machine over there and then um, the desk is from Ikea, Ikea. Yeah. and the running machine is Amazon. Amazon, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so really easy places to buy from. Um, and then we yeah. just added this phone box here again from Hudson Home, which um, has all of Joanne's pens, etc. in it. So yeah, nice jo and hidden away. Joanne likes her pens, yeah. doesn't she? <laughs> um, mirror is from William Wood. Yeah. We have two mirrors um, one downstairs from William Wood and this one. And you can see, you can come into shot. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So the reason why we've got such a big mirror here from my point of view was to do Instagram shots from it and the size of the William Wood ones are absolutely perfect for that because you can get everything in from behind as well. Okay, so moving on to the kitchen. So the yeah. audience will have already seen what it looked like before yeah. and how Carl from Park Architectural came in and did this. But yeah. um, you got in touch with these guys because you've worked with them before, haven't you? Yeah, um, absolutely. Fab service. Yeah. Um, they always recommend that you use their professional installers as installers, yeah. as I'm sure Melissa has already told you. There's so many different designs you can choose from. There's it. over 500, which is yeah. wild. We only went through about 10 samples, I yeah. think, until yeah. we got the right ones. So. Well, that, that's what you're good at. Yeah. So she doesn't give me loads and loads of stuff to look at. Yeah. I like how you listen to my brief, and then you just come to me with a few. Yeah. Because um, probably like a lot of you guys in the clothes shops, you get, I get very I overwhelmed. Mean, yeah. yeah, so it's just opposite skill sets, yeah, isn't it? it is. Where you're able to sort of just give me the, the few that I need to choose from, and yeah. then I was able to choose. Um, the side actually wasn't the one we chose. It was a very similar finish top. Yeah. Um, but it's just more matte. So you don't um, get shine. And, well, Perhaps you don't want to see the inside of my kitchen. But what I was going to show you is that it's all done on the reverse yeah. as well, where yeah. a lot of these, because this is done by Colour Style. Colour Style, isn't it? So it's architectural, but the material comes from Colour Style. Okay, all right. Um, so uh, these guys do a proper job inside and out. A yeah. lot of the cheaper people uh, don't, but no. actually price-wise, it was really good as well. Yeah, really um, good. But why did you go for dark? So we wanted to change how the space felt Felt's overall. Good. So before we obviously had like shiny light cabinets and yeah. I really wanted to get away from the shine. And the dark in the end just adds some kind of moodiness to the space, yes. which is really nice. And it's yeah. it's a lovely bright space that we've got yeah. in here. So you can afford to kind of bring the darker colours and have the moodier colours in here. Right. So um, I'm always going to talk about this pan. Um, you will see it in my home on the hob on a permanent basis. Yeah. Um, it's the always pan from our place. Um, so as well as being very aesthetically pleasing, yeah. it's also got a really practical purpose behind it, which yeah. I love. Um, right. And then we just added some greenery in the corner here. Yeah. Um, we changed the taps for black just to bring taps, everything yeah. in. Candles, little nice accessories. Yeah. But yeah, that's the kitchen area for you. Yeah. Um, this is a bit of a luxury here. This used to be a bedroom, yeah. Um, but we all love our Pilates and we have a Pilates machine, so you made this work for me, didn't you? Yeah, so we'll, we'll bring you in. Yeah. Um, we've got a sofa bed here um, from Dolls, which is lovely. Again, we've, we've tied in the boucle texture from in the other room. But this um, can convert, so if Melissa does kind of have need for extra people staying over, we've got a bedroom in there. But um, you know, this could, this is really practical for the space. Yeah. Um, kind of makes like a bigger than a single bed, but not yeah. quite a double bed, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Just folds down. Um, and then we've still been left with plenty of room for Melissa to stretch out fully when she is using this Align Pilates machine, um, yeah. which I need to get her to show me because I have no idea how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's my little bit of solace yeah. it every day. And then the main thing that's really totally changed how the, the space feels is this um, slat acoustic panelling which we've got from Skirting World. Um, it's got, it's, we've gone for the walnut colour and it's just yeah. got such a lovely tone and it works with the floor really well. Um, and it has, it's just completely changed the space, hasn't it? Yeah, it really, really has. I think if you sort of follow the eye from this area into this area you've really linked the two spaces really nicely together yeah okay, so through this door is just a little bathroom yeah not much of an update in here but we had some quite um dated 
tiles on the wall, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, you had hexagon textured tiles yeah. on the wall, and it just didn't fit with the kind of style. Now everything else has had an upgrade, so we've yeah. removed those. And again, we've got like white air fall on the walls. Yeah. Um, and then we've just removed the copper. Yeah. Um, and we've gone for black everywhere again. It kind of feeds through with the rest of the space. So. Yeah. And this is the bedroom now, so kept this very, very neutral, brought in the green earthy tones that uh, we've used also out in the Style Academy. We've got all the current body stuff in here and the printer, so it's still practical, but it just gives somewhere for the girls to sleep over because um, quite a few of them travel from quite far, so that's quite nice to have. So now we're down in the dressing room area. This used to be a bedroom. Yeah, so <laughs> Very quite, different. quite a transformation. Well, it went from being a bedroom and then when you got to us, well, there was just loads of wardrobes in here, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So um, the amount of space that you've created for us here yeah. is um, amazing. Yeah, really. it looks so much brighter and yeah. more airy, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, and we think so, we've got a bit more storage in as well because the rails run from here all the way over to here. Definitely got more storage yeah. in. Um, and as well, with the wardrobes that were in here, there was limited long space. Yes. Where now I'm not restricted in any way whatsoever. No. And the drawers down here have yeah, been they're brilliant. Just push press and they hide everything away, which yeah. is great. These are from IKEA, another best of purchase. And then we've put some strip lighting underneath the cupboards. Um, it just creates a bit of bit of ambience. It's lovely. Yeah. Amazon. Amazon, yeah. Again, really yeah. affordable purchase. So through here is the studio that you will all have seen, I'm sure, many a time. Um, and it's just been an updated look in here, hasn't it? Where are you? Oh, there she hiding is. The She's hiding <laughs> through the bush <laughs> with a cup of tea. Um, so the main changes is in here are, you've got a really lovely table. Yeah, for the, a start. that's from Next. Um, yeah. Lovely wood tones. Um, so and, and again, we've used the same chairs as we have upstairs from Dolls. They're actually very comfortable. Yeah. Um, it just gives Melissa and her team a bit more seating room when she's got people coming in and she's doing the styling. So. Exactly. So I can literally just take them from down here and put them upstairs when the whole team is in. Because I think we're about 12 people up when the whole exactly. team, team is in. Yeah. Um, this is just a really practical space here. This is where we film, as you can see. Another William Wood mirror. Yeah. Um, really like the mirror. So we've gone for the arch mirrors in both of the cases, haven't yeah. we? Um, so same down here for the reasons upstairs, just off the Yeah, stairs. again, it just adds some softness and kind of introduces um, another shape to the space. It doesn't feel as angular, particularly when you've got the beautiful panelling that you do on the walls. Yeah. And talking about that panelling, I did that myself. Well done. Yeah, one weekend, literally just stuck it on. Okay, so it's your turn now, Maddie, for us to design you yeah. a new look. So if anybody wants to get in touch with you, how can they do that? Yeah, so um, I'm on Instagram at Maddie yeah. Hassman Interiors. We'll link it down below. And then yeah. we'll also link my website down below as well. Um, yeah. I offer virtual services as well as in-person services. So anybody anywhere around the world can um, book you. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And what I would say about Maddie is that you are really good at working to any budget, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she tries. Yeah, she tries. So whether your budget is small or large, there's like... You've done jobs for a lot of my friends, haven't you, who um, perhaps have been on a little bit of a tighter budget and you've really made it work, you know, so buying from supermarkets right yeah. the way up to top end. So yeah. get in touch with her if you need her. But right now it's my turn to style you. Let's get started. <laughs> OK, so Maddie's turn now to be styled. So obviously you've just met Maddie, but for the sake of the audience, Maddie, how, how tall are you? Five foot three. Dress size. 14, 16, depending on where I shop. Okay, how do we feel? You, you look gorgeous, but how do you feel about yourself? Um, a lot more comfortable than I did when I was 20. Good, um, so yeah. that's good. Yeah. Um, I think I just want to dress kind of in a bit more of a flattering way, um, yeah. bring me back into kind of hourglass proportions. Great, so. that's exactly what we do. We yeah. put everybody back into an hourglass shape. Yeah. So it's our hourglass balancing method. We used it on all other, I think we're on 26 body shape masterclasses. So we've used it on every single shape of woman that has come through our door and it works on everybody. Yeah. Okay, so it is just about recreating balance. Um, so you've got 
good set of boobs there, <laughs> but I would imagine sometimes that probably makes you feel a little bit more top heavy. Yeah, it does. It yeah. definitely does. So exactly. So we'll just use a few techniques just to balance those out as yeah. well. But you're how old? 30. 30, confident, gorgeous figure. So I'm um, really excited to get you dressed. Okay, so we have success on the first outfit. Um, we all love this. So for complete transparency, we have got spanks on underneath these outfits. Only these wedding guest outfits that we're about to try on will I um, put the Spanx on her. For any of the other normal day to day, we do not style with them whatsoever. But special occasions like this, you just kind of want to feel a little bit more sort of tucked in. Tucked in. And a lot of you in hot countries will say to me, how do I recreate the hourglass shape when I'm not using layers? This is how you do it. You buy one piece items that do all the work for you. So what's happening here, we've got a fluted sleeve. The fluted sleeve is sticking out more than her arms are. So she's got very, very toned arms, but you do quite a bit of weightlifting as well, don't you? Yeah. Um, so just to create that sort of feminine um, shape around those, a little flute like this is going to make those arms look smaller. The V-neck here has halved her bust area up. Notice how we've followed her bust line as well. The waistband here is nipping her in at the waist and the trousers have broadened her on, bo on the bottom. So we have both broadened her here, broadened her here and everything in the middle is now going to look smaller. So we think you look absolutely perfect. Is that is that a contender for your wedding? Yeah, we like this one. Definitely. Yeah. Something in your hair or something would look really nice. Yeah. That's bringing in the green or the yeah. green as well. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at option two for you. Okay, so next we have got a beautiful shape dress. The colour is gorgeous, like a really deep purple, yeah. isn't it? We've used a mint velvet bag here. I've actually changed the strap on the bag. The strap was just cream, but I wanted to bring in the lovely gold shoes at the bottom here. So I've just put a gold strap on from like another bag that I've got. Her lovely Masoma necklace here as well. It just helps to further split the bust up. Um, the one shoulder is just really beautiful on her. What isn't so nice is the quality of the fabric. So it's a dress from ASOS, and can you see these bumps that are happening there? That's got absolutely nothing to do with Maddie's beautiful curves. It's all to do with the cheap fabric. So in comparison, I think you preferred the first one, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, but we'll keep going and see what else comes out. Next, absolutely beautiful colour on her. Very similar shape to the green one, yeah. which we loved. Both are UK size 14, however, draw your eyes down to her feet area. This one is a 14 petite, you're five foot three. Yeah. So you should, given that you're five foot three, um, buy from the petite range, because yeah. petite is up to sort of five foot four usually. But it doesn't look as good on her, because it's shortening her leg length here. This needs to be as long as she can to the floor because, well, you will gain another two and a half inches on yeah. your leg line yeah. by not going for petite. Yeah. So I think beautiful suit if it was in the normal size and not the petite one yeah. is what my, I feel about that. But great at flattering the figure for all the same reasons as the green one did. The sleeves there are beautiful, pulls her in at the waist, and then the trousers are broadening her around there, making everything in the centre look smaller. Okay, next we have got this beautiful spring dress, H&M, yep. both actually, the yep. jacket and the dress, the mid velvet bag, and the same gold shoes from phase eight. A christening that would look lovely yep. for garden party. And it's just beautiful. It's showing her chest off so lovely but so balanced still and what we're doing there to balance it out is the jacket here has got the kick out down here so believe it or not it's as subtle as that if that jacket was a lot shorter and, st and sort of um, stockier like yeah. that then that would actually make your bust look, look bigger because we want to elongate. Yeah. And something uh, Maddie's just said to me off camera is, oh, you're putting me all in longer dresses. 
And I said, well, yes, because I'm trying to elongate your frame. But you always thought, because you were shorter, you needed shorter dresses. Just think it overwhelms, like normally, when yeah. I do it without the styling, yeah. I think it overwhelms like me, because I'm quite short. Yeah. But, but when you're doing it this way, it looks absolutely fine. Yeah, it looks brilliant. The way you can avoid feeling overwhelmed mm -hmm. is if you look for dresses that have got the little split at the front. Okay. And um, lighter colours as well, and also showing some flesh. So we've got your wrists on display here, we've got a little bit of chest and then um, obviously your ankle area as yeah. well if all of that was like dark navy or black to the floor it would be too much it would be too much it would be overwhelming on you but yeah i think you look gorgeous okay so we've just got a couple more dresses to show you this denim one beautiful broadened her here on the arms don't ever be afraid of broadening yourself to make other places or particularly the waist look smaller Cuts in through her bust really nicely. An empire line um, which comes in under your bust and then flares out is always really flattering. Um, the advantage of this dress is the pockets, a little bit like mine as well. Yeah, Sometimes, best. yeah, it just gives you somewhere to literally rest your hand, yeah. but it also helps style. Because sometimes if you just took the hands out there, we just show it as it would perhaps. There we go. You could put that on, look at that right now, and you could think, um, not very flattering yeah. at all. Yeah. And this is where you need to take a moment just to style. And I know people are going to say, well, you don't walk around with your hands in your pockets. You don't, you are right. But when you are walking, your arms are swaying anyway, so you've got a little bit of a distraction. But in terms of just styling it up, just one hand in the pocket there is actually a really nice sort of relaxed way to stand. Add the bag, and um, the bag there just brings in the boots. Maddie's just says she wouldn't have thought to put a boot with a dress. So, we, are you a trainer girl maybe with a dress? Yeah. Yeah? I, th mm, I don't know if I can pull that off either. <laughs> you can pull that off. Yeah, well you've pulled everything off so far. <laughs> So I think that's just a lack of confidence that you've got because so far you've pulled everything off. But as you can see, I've got a little white boot on with my um, dress at the moment. But I think for the springtime, the boot is that really good transition. Yeah. And also you can wear it all through winter as yeah. well. So yeah, lovely. Okay, so we've got a bit of a problem here in that she is looking amazing in everything. I was hoping there was going to be a few items that I could say, well, this doesn't work for these reasons. But look at this. So I've mentioned it was going to be a dress. Obviously, it's a jumpsuit. Karen Miller. We've also got this in white yeah. as well. This comes in a little bit smaller. So this is the 16, where so far you've been in a 14 in everything. Yeah. So that just shows you it's the store. So anything in Karen Miller, always go up a size rather than down a size. I love the pointed shoe on her because that's helping to elongate a petite frame. If we were to put a rounded toe now on her, she would look shorter and um, less angular. Yeah. When you've got some nice curves going on, you want angles. Because if you add curves on curves, it makes you look rounder. Yeah. Where these are lovely. Look at that shoulder detail. Sorry, can I move your gorgeous yeah, yeah. hair out of the way? Um, look at that shoulder detail there. So that shoulders now are matching her hips and her waist has been pulled in. She looks beautifully in proportion. Do you mind standing to the side? Because a lot of people say, well, what did it look like from the side and then also around the back? Here we go. Lovely. And I was just saying to you off camera as well, you can change this look up by yeah. putting the brown boots and a brown bag and that would just sort of dress it down just a little bit. Yeah. So we're completely changing tack now. We're going down the comfy route initially with this outfit. You've probably seen a variation of this type of outfit on most of the Body Shape Masterclasses and that's because it tends to work on most people. And so all we've got is a really nice navy, how soft are they? So soft. So soft. Navy jogger. They are a more expensive one. Um, they're from Reese. But they have got down the front the seam, where the seam is sewn in. So on a petite frame, that's going to help to elongate you, yeah. even when you've got a trainer on. And then we've got a white tight top underneath. And we've just let that top 
come out slightly to help create the illusion of the waistline. Well, it's not an illusion, actually. She's got a lovely waistline. But often when we put a big baggy jumper on like that, we lose it. And when we go baggy on the jumper, baggy on the trousers, then especially on somebody who's petite, then they can look wider than they are. So we just make sure that we lift this up a little bit and then that just helps to show the uh, waistline there and adds a bit more shape. Gone for a red, red is all in the shops at the moment, just to change it up a bit, but yeah, nice, comfy, easy. Yeah. But I'm gonna change this up again really quickly just to show you how you could elevate this really easily. Okay. There you go, very quick elevation, same top underneath, but all we've done is put this, actually it's a pleather jacket, yeah. short crop jacket, added just a little bit of colour of the season, um, which is the red in there, added in some boots, and I just think that looks really lovely and really easy. And that just shows you how you can go from slobbing around in the house in your, you know, PJ equivalent, yeah. in your plain top and just an oversized jumper, to then going out and looking really presentable with one swift move. Another very, very quick change. All we have done is change the jacket. Creates just a little bit more of a youthful look as well. Um, and just something different if the pleather look isn't for you. Cropped jacket, you said you didn't think you'd be able to wear one of these. Why do you, why wouldn't you pick up a crop jacket? Any obvious reason to? Just because it like hides my waist, so it hits kind of between my waist and my hips. Yes. That's why. And you like to show your waist just to balance yourself out. Is that? That's what I thing? thought you would do. So yes. That's why I was surprised when you put this on. Yeah, so the reason it works is because you've got big shoulder pads in this, so that's given us angle, and you've got volume down here. And then you are right in that this hides this part of the waist, but we've kept you tight here. Yeah. So that's showing off your waist. You don't always have to show your waist from the side here. Just this bit here is enough to insinuate you've got a smaller waistline. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have to be from the side. Yeah. Uh, that looks lovely as well. Yeah. Okay, so gym wear. Really, really super easy look to put together. Um, H&M, yep. the, these are. Um, the rust colour is really beautiful. It works on blondes and on dark haired people. And we've just done some layering. So we've taken a total hoodie here, just zipped it up just a little bit, and then she's got the matching top to go with the leggings underneath as well. But as we all know, those matching tops can be incredibly tight and sometimes show the belly a little bit. So the advantage of a zipped hoodie is that it still shows the little bit of V there to match in with the, the bottoms. Yeah. When we put a hoodie on that is an over-the-head hoodie, you're going to completely lose yeah. that bit of rust there. And just like in your styling, where you're bringing two pieces together, that's what a zipped hoodie will allow you to do. And then we've um, layered it over with a long line, and that's just from Mango. And then we've just got a bag on. I think that one's from Uniglo, but they do them everywhere now. Okay, so we've gone down the route of jeans now. I gave you the option, didn't I, of trainers or sort of like a flat shoe she's chosen a boot because that's more appropriate to her lifestyle but you could just change those boots up for a trainer or even a little pointed um, ballet flat would be nice as well we've gone for the hybrid um, barber jacket this is from Uniglo really nice We've brought it in here with the little green Paris t-shirt, or rather the writing is in green, that's just from mint velvet. I think having the fresh white in there is what's helping to break it all up. Yeah. Um, I'm telling you these things, but you obviously know this with styling anyway, <laughs> with interiors, but um, obviously that just helps it pop, and then we've matched the bright colour to the handbag and to the shoes. Yeah. You can never go wrong really when you stick with two or three colourways. I never really go over three colourways with an outfit, um, but the dark jeans there actually, so you've got two colourways on and then um, the black is the third. Yeah. But I also think there you could have gone for a blue jean and it would have looked just as good, but that's really nice. But what I'm going to do is play around with a few different types of jackets now, because you'll see the different type of looks that that then creates. And when you've got the base layer right, um, it's very easy to change your look up with a different style of jackets. Jackets in the spring, certainly in the UK, yeah. um, are so important to yeah. styling. You could be in blue jeans and a white t-shirt for the whole season 
and it's the accessories that pulls everything together. Okay, so everything has remained the same apart from the jacket. So this time we've gone for a blazer. Um, very nice. Where would you wear it? Oh, out shopping, out with friends, yeah. out for a like, casual drink. Okay, great. So plenty of times in your lifestyle when yeah. you'd wear it. You need to keep asking yourself that, especially when you're watching channels like my own or going on Instagram and seeing people in things. Always bring it back to your lifestyle. Um, you mentioned the boots are super comfy. Yeah, they're from, I'm not normally a heels person, but I would yeah. wear these. A would lot. you? Yeah. That's great. So they're from Mint Velvet, and the ones that you had on with the denim dress yeah. were exactly the same ones, them. but in the um, suede. Yeah. So um, obviously, I, I wear the cream as well. Mm. I think I've had cream white boots now for maybe about 10 years, yeah. and they never go out of fashion. Yeah. They always lighten up a, like a darker outfit, or yeah. could be a darker outfit. Yeah. really nice and one final look for this overall look is back to the bomber jacket that you saw before really nice um, you were questioning again as to it cutting off your waist and I was saying I think the reason it's working on her is one that Maddie's actually really nicely in proportion so her shoulders and her hips are actually really nicely aligned so all we need to do a little bit is highlight her waist and the ribs here and the very nature of the jacket kind of coming in like that because the shoulders have been so broadened mm -hmm. so the shoulders are here and the waist is here sort of creating that triangle. so yeah the triangle so that's making you look smaller across the waist anyway yeah. I just think it's quite a nice young younger look really yeah. Um, blazer's lovely, but it's about you know knowing where you're going and making choosing the right jacket for your occasion. Yeah. So it's something a little bit different here, something that you have never tried on before is a slip skirt. I think a lot of people are scared of slip skirts because they follow the figure down. But for me, I love following a lady's figure down. I'm all about showing off those curves. And we've kept it really, really tonal with this. So the um, the really light green and the beige is just go really nicely together. Um, the bag and the shoes match again. Um, I would like to have seen perhaps a cashmere jumper or something like that in here. I think that would be really nice. But I think I think because you're lovely and young, the um, sweatshirt actually creates a more casual look with that skirt as well. But um, yeah, you're not sure whether you'd ever wear it. No, I'm still undecided. Yeah. It and looks I'm, lovely put together. Yeah. It just would never have been something that I would reach for. So okay. It just is very new. Yes. A bit alien to me. A bit really. alien to you. So she keeps looking at the mirror thinking you can see you kind of going, I like it, but I'm not sure <laughs> because yeah. I've never tried these things on yeah. before. Yeah. What stops you trying such things on like this in shops? I would just automatically assume this wouldn't suit me because I'm short. Right. Um, I'm a size 14. Yeah. But actually, that's not the case. I've tried it on. So. Yeah. No, not at all. It's really, really elongating. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. A really nice kind of date night outfit. Yeah. Like you've made some effort, but not gone over the top is yeah. how I would summarise this one. So lovely off the shoulder um, detail here on the top. Soft rib knit. Um, tell me, I haven't actually asked you, is that pulling tight on your arms or anything? No. No, good. So a lot of people find when they wear off the shoulder that it, when it's too tight, it sort of pings back up. Yeah, this almost one like feels that. quite like stable. Oh, it is. that's really good. Following her bust line down, beautiful. And these jeans, look how long her legs look. <laughs> so um, you're five foot three. Yeah. Meant to be petite, but these trousers are not petite. They're just a regular. Um, with the boots on as well, it helps to create an elongated um, foot area, which then makes the whole leg length just look absolutely spot on. You were surprised that pockets there worked. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they would make you look wider. Yes. Um, a lot of the theory suggests that, but over the years I've realised it's not about the theory, because really it's not about the trousers that will make you look wider. Yeah. What's happening is if you had those trousers on with like a thin strap top, it's the thin strap top would make you look smaller on top and therefore the trousers would then make you look bigger. But because we've got the broadening here with a bit of a pocket, we've broadened you up here as well. So now they're all balanced. Yeah. 
So yeah, just forget that theory. Just always follow our hourglass balancing method and it works on every single body frame. But yeah, I think you look lovely. Ready for a date. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just a very quick change. All we have done is change the t-shirt. That's just a H&M t-shirt. And I've gone for the red again, just because it's the colour of the season. So it just helps to keep you updated. But I'm not quite sure exactly how much that t-shirt is, but I'd probably say 9 99 11 99 And it's just little nods to being on trend yeah. that will keep you looking trendy. But this and this and the shoes yeah. uh, remain the same all the time. Yeah. Um, the blazer is obviously doing a great job of balancing her out on the top part and the jeans being a boot cut are doing the same on the bottom half. So completely different look but just as lovely. Yeah, really nice. Okay and a final outfit for you is just a classic. A black one shouldered jersey, really soft, yeah. very inexpensive top with the same black trousers that you just saw a moment ago and then we've just matched the bag and the shoes together. Lovely Masona necklace here just helps to break that black area up just a little bit and, and that's just, we look, we're not looking to break it up in terms of the bust but just in terms of the colour, that little bit of gold just helps to elevate things. And when you first put these on you were a little bit conscious around your waist area weren't you? So all I did was pull the waist up higher. Yeah. And your waist looked then much thinner, and any um, any areas that were um, weren't contained within the waistband before were completely hidden, and so and a waist look even smaller. Yeah, I'm doing so. Um, maybe slightly short on the trouser legs with the heels, but with the trainers they were absolutely fine. But I think you can get away with it because you just look really classic and lovely. So that's it for today. How good did Maddie look? That just shows you that whatever your figure, as long as you apply our hourglass balancing method to it and keep in mind your lifestyle all the time, you too could look equally as lovely as Maddie did. Uh, if you need help in doing that, then we do online styling for people all over the world on a daily basis, as well as obviously face-to-face -face shopping trips and everything like that. So I'll put the details down now but essentially you just go to our website and everything is bookable through our website but thank you for watching we will see you again soon thank you very much bye